and there's nothing wrong with you. You're just an alien. As my mother would say to me, E.T., E.T. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm an alien, and so are all of you, and it's okay. So my big thing to you is to own the fact that happiness comes from growing every day, and that's my message to you. Thank you. <laughs> questions? Does anybody have some quick questions? Quick? And then you can ask me questions later, but any quick questions? Yes, we're doing, it's all about health, wellness, beauty, and empowerment, and it's, it's inside out, because I didn't get to do what I wanted to do on the swan, because on the swan, they really focused on plastic surgery, even though we did everything else on the planet. So I wanted to do a five day a week daily show, so we can really show women changing over a year. Yes, of course, leave me your <laughs> I have a question. Thank you. Question, yes. Yes. Um, as you were growing in your business and uh -huh. uh, getting involved with clients and et cetera, did you feel challenged about work-life balance as it relates to your kids? I always feel guilty that I have this big fantasy of being a great mommy, but I'm also, of course, in love with my business. My business is my baby, and I never feel comfortable with what I give up. Well, to be brutally honest, and this is the part that almost makes me cry, um, I really think that I was so out of balance in my quest to be an entrepreneur that I completely let my personal life to completely fall through the cracks. And I woke up one day uh, engaged to be married, pregnant, uh, and having a baby at 35 with a guy that just was not capable of being in a relationship. And, and then I'm like, how did this happen? You know, and as a Latina, you know, and all of you that are Latinos here know, I mean, that's like to be a single mom and to be 35, it's like, it's one thing if you make a mistake when you're a teenager, but later on, you know, and it was just very, the hardest thing I've ever done in my life was tell my mother I was going to have a baby and that this man was a catastrophe. So, you know, it, I had to really, and, and I really recommend this. I went to therapy. I've really studied meditation, you know, and this is why I've come up with the new you. And all, we don't take enough care of ourselves. And... I really had to make a radical shift in creating balance, which I didn't even know what that meant, and I still have a problem with it. But I really did radically change my life, uh, and my child really saved me. And as a result, I attracted a better man to me, and I finally attracted the man I should have had all along. But it is a daily struggle. The only way I pull it off is because I have made my entire life, when I'm home, when I'm not traveling, is in a quarter of a mile radius. My office is three blocks from my house, my kid's school is two blocks from my office. Otherwise, I, literally, I don't know how people do it. I could not do it. And I have a live-in full-time nanny. Blessed be God that I have the money to do that. Because if not, I don't know what I would do. But quick, it is challenging. Quick question. Um, up here. Yes. I'm sorry. You're a wonderful speaker, by the way. First Thank of all. you. Um, your quick advice on real estate. I know you, you I love on real that estate questions because I never get enough time to talk about real estate. Yeah. I will tell you this, and, and this also makes me a little bit, you know, the truth of the matter is I've made five times the money in real estate than in my TV business. Five times the money. I could retire from real estate. I don't know that I could retire from TV yet. Uh, and, but to be fair, I wouldn't have had the money to, um, to invest in real estate had I not had my TV life. I think that enough people don't say, and I would say that all my peers in TV did not do this. I always like to say, this is what I did right. I, I will tell you what I did wrong. What I did right is that I did never, I have never changed my lifestyle dramatically. When I made money, I didn't go bling bling. I stayed even keeled. I've remodeled my house three times. Everybody laughs at me, but I said, yeah, but I remodeled my house three times, but I own four buildings. So that's really nice because my buildings pay for my life. And at the later part of my TV career where it becomes more challenging, I am able to have the time to bluff that I really don't need the job because I really do have cash flow coming in. And I always say that nobody says enough, follow your bliss with a backup position. You know, the truth of the matter is t real estate has been very easy because I, it's not, I'm cold about it. I'm, it's not as passionate for me as creating a TV show. And nobody gives enough credence to something in your life that you're cold about. I once met a painter who had started a software company and I said to him, how could you, how could you a painter have a software company? And he goes, when you paint with the colors you love, you grow to hate them. And when you paint with the colors you hate, you grow to love them. They bring you money. He was right. Real estate has brought me more gifts than I can even imagine. And it allows me the privilege of doing what I love for passion. Which sometimes has made me a lot of money and sometimes it hasn't.
As an entrepreneur, um, I found it hard to um, give myself motivation constantly. Oh, it is hard. Do you have a personal motivation coach? And do you give yourself like business motivations? That's a great and, question. Uh, the second part of uh -huh. my question is, is do you have a business standard that you live by? Like my personal business standard is to have so many letters a week, so many phone calls per week. Um, do you have one mm -hmm. like that? And if so, what is it? Well, I, I'm very blessed because I'm naturally very disciplined as a person. And so I would say that I drive, that's one of my issues is I drive my staff crazy. And my boyfriend says to me, you know, no employee is going to be good enough because nobody will work as hard as you do, which is true. It's a problem I have, actually. Relaxing is a problem. But in answer to your question, if your value is grow every day, that means by any means necessary. So whoever I've had to hire at whatever time I have hired, whether sometimes it's a therapist, sometimes it's a business coach. I just did um, The Four Agreements with Don Miguel Ruiz. Do you guys, have you heard of the four? I love that book. I think that's a really important book. I just did, a, and I do this every year. And again, my boyfriend at first thought I was crazy, and now he's like really into it. I do one trip a year that is completely like a motivational trip. So I just went and climbed pyramids in Mexico with a guided meditator. And it was both athletic, I lost five pounds, and I did spiritual work. I thought it was a two for one. <laughs> Loved it. But I do that stuff all the time. Like, you know, I go and I, don't, and I don't think any one thing is my guru. I cherry pick. I go, this person really taught me this, and that person really taught me that, and I sort of make up my own thing. Um, but I do that all the time. I read books all the time that motivate me and help me. And, you know, Again, my value, my number one value in life over anything is to grow, because that's all I can control. Yes, who has another question? Oh, I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're telling me I got to go. Uh, if, if you have other questions, I can answer them privately later. But thank you all so much.